Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Infranodus network thinking tool in combination with uh, GPT-3 AI to generate new ideas and to come up with interesting insights. As an example, I'm going to use a text that I'm working on at the moment, which is a description of my practice, another project that I'm busy with. And I just need to come up with some interesting ideas in relation to this text. So I'm going to show you how that would be done with Infranodus. So first of all, I go into Google Docs and copy and paste this text, then come back to Infranodus, create a new graph. I can name it any way I want. And then what I do is that I copy and paste this text here. And what happens is that Infranodus will visualize this text as a graph where the words are the nodes and the co-occurrences of the words are the connections between them. And then it applies network theory to identify what are the main clusters of nodes or words, what are the main topics, how they're related. So you get a very precise overview of the general content of this document, which is already great if you want to gain uh, some additional insights about the structure of any text and also to kind of uh, refresh the text that you've been working on. Here you have information about all the main topics. So we see that it's about movement, practice, dynamic, adaptive making. You also have sentiment analysis here, some other stats and so on. But what we're interested in is how we can use this graph to generate new ideas. And here in Frenodus is really useful because it identifies the structural gap in your text. So the two topics that could be connected but are not yet connected. And then it uses this function here, which is basically posing this question to GPT-3 AI. And if you don't know what GPT-3 is, it's the most up-to-date, state-of-the-art system that can generate natural language that is almost indistinguishable from a human being. So what happens here is that Infranodus asks GPT-3 to generate a research question that would link these two clusters together. And by that, it will propose you to make a new connection that you haven't thought of before in relation to your text. So in order to do this, you open this tab here and then click Generate Questions. It will create a prompt for GPT-3 based on this structural gap and then propose you some questions here that could direct your thinking further in relation to this topic. So the first question here is, how do people in dynamic adaptive practice call themselves? Okay, what are the possibilities for new practice when it comes to dynamic adaptive making? If you're not happy with the questions, you can click regenerate and then it will generate some new questions. So for example here, does the use of technology change the way users engage with the concept of practice? So this is very interesting for me because this is one of the main topics that I'm exploring through this project. And for me, it just reminds me that I should write something about this. How does technology change the way users engage with any practice? So when they do martial arts or when they do dance and so on, can we use technology to somehow enhance the way that we practice? So I can write something here. We can use technology to enhance the way we practice our, um, let's say, martial arts, dance, or any hobby that we have. Technology can provide additional feedback that is not visible normally. So I can save it into the text. It's going to be added into this graph. And then the new structural gap will be detected and the new connection will be generated. So you can keep on using this functionality in reiterative way to come up with new ideas and propositions. And by the way, if you want, GPT-3 can also answer its own question. So if you don't want to answer this question, you can click here and then it's going to come up with an answer as well. But I find it more interesting if you try to interact with it as if it were an intelligent conversation partner. So it asks you questions and then you write them in. And once you've done it a few times, you can use this expert feature and export the graph as a text and then copy and paste it into your Google Doc again. One other way to use this functionality is to use the interpret feature. And this is how you could separate the original text you have from the new ideas that you created. So if you click here, you will see the same graph but this part here will be empty because uh, this is your, your interpretation and uh, it's not yet added into the graph. And then you use the same feature. So you generate a research question. 
here it says, what is the relationship between the natural world and the book's movement through time? Okay, this is a bit too philosophical for me, so I will regenerate it. What are the, the effects of movement on natural time? How does movement affect time? So this is interesting. I can say that we can change the subjective perception of time through movement if we add more variability to our movement then our perception of time may also stretch. Add this into the graph and what happens here is the ideas that are added will be highlighted in gray on the graph. So I can see how much of the original discourse I covered with the new ideas that I added thanks to this inside generation tool. And here it generates a new research question for me. So in this case it proposes to make a connection between uh, these two topics. Practice body exploring, idea network principle. Of course I can also use this feature here inside and then go to the structural gap detection, reveal the gap. So these are the topics that could be connected and then click generate question here and then it's going to generate a question that will bridge those two topics so I can come up with the connection that I haven't thought of before. And here it says, can we speed up the healing process by stimulating the body's natural process of moving and changing? So this is interesting for me because it talks about therapeutic implications of the movement practice that I'm interested in. Then I can write that it could be interesting to explore the therapeutic implications of the physical practice. For instance, does variability in movement affect uh, quality of one's performance or gait, walk. In this case I don't have to write well-formed sentences, I'm just throwing ideas in. As you can see more uh, of the territory has been covered and I can keep on asking the questions, generating questions from GPT-3 until I cover the whole graph more or less. That means that my answers, they covered the existing discourse and then they also added something else. So for example, here you see these are the gray nodes that didn't yet exist in the graph. So this can also be interesting to add into it. So I develop not only on top of what I has, have already written, but also add something new to the discourse. This is how it works. You can try it out on infranodus.com. If you have any questions, please let us know using the support link that is under the video and also if you have any suggestions or questions please contact us. Thank you.